G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of DigitalScrapbookingHQ.com and today I'm here with another Photoshop Elements tutorial. I'm here in Photoshop Elements 2018 Organizer to show you around. I've been inspired by symbol scrapper Jennifer Wilson's great stash bash that she's running during March 2018 to take a look at my digital stash. I manage it in Photoshop Elements Organizer. So today I wanted to show you around a little bit of the interface and in future videos I will be showing you some of the ways that I manage my stash in Photoshop Elements Organizer. Right now in Photoshop Elements Organizer I have mm, probably eight to ten years worth of supplies a lot of digital scrapbooking supplies. In fact, 135,367 items are in this stash. And how do I find anything? Well, I've got three main ways that I find things. I use the find menu, which kind of makes sense. For example, to find anything by one of my favorite designers, I might do a file name search for Flurks. Shout out to Flergs. Anyone who's been following me for a while knows I love her. And there's all her kits that I have purchased. Another way I find my supplies is by using the automatic tags. Why don't I go ahead and look for watermelons in my stash? All of these items Photoshop Elements has seen and it thinks they're watermelons, which you know, some of them are, some of them aren't, but I think it's a pretty good way considering I've never added a tag to any of these items. The way I quickly find suppliers I want to use is by using albums on the left hand side. We have two views here. We have the folders, which just shows a list of folders. I like to keep mine on tree view. And then we have a list of albums. I've collected some of the kits that I want to use and put it in this to use folder. So it's pretty easy for me to find kits that I want to use. So if you're new to Photoshop Elements Organizer, you can see all of your kits and all of your supplies in thumbnail form within Photoshop Elements Organizer. You import the files, but Photoshop Elements just creates a database with thumbnails of all your images. They're still safely on your hard drive. If you'd like to learn more about how Organizer works, you can head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com slash OAB. My Organizing for Absolute Beginners class is there, and I go through the whole user interface and show you how to use all of these different kinds of searches. In, in the next several videos, I'll be back to show you some more quick tips on how I manage my stash in Photoshop Elements Organizer. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you'd like to learn more about digital scrapbooking or Photoshop Elements, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.